Hello and welcome everyone. Thank you for clicking on this video. If it's your first time, my name is Clarice and my channel is all about exposing narcissists. And today I want to clarify a few things in this video surrounding the silent treatment. I will be talking about when the narcissist gives us the silent treatment and when we give a narcissist the silent treatment which are two different things by the way because when we go silent it is not for the same reasons that a narcissist would and the objective is not the same but i will get more into that in a bit first of all i have done a few videos covering this topic for example in this video i looked at what it means when a narcissist goes silent but in this one, I addressed how to go about giving the narcissist the silent treatment the right way and how the narcissist will respond to it. For many people, no contact is not an option. And because narcissists are everywhere, it is not even possible to go no contact from every narcissist out there. So this is why knowing of other ways to navigate around these narcissists is so important. Silence and being emotionally unavailable are the best ways to deal with a narcissist and protect your emotional health. How we practice the silent treatment should be different to how the narcissist does it. Because the silent treatment is a favorite of the narcissist, they use it to manipulate and punish people. The narcissist usually initiates a silent treatment when we challenge them, call them out on their bad behavior, or tell them no. They also go silent when they are up to no good because they are either preoccupied with a new source of supply or scheming to destroy someone. Basically, when a narcissist goes silent, it is always with a bad intention. They only use it to hurt and manipulate others. Therefore, the narcissist's silent treatment is malicious, vindictive, and it comes from a very dark place. Whereas when we give a narcissist the silent treatment, go grey rock on them or turn off our emotional tap, it is for our protection. We recognize the danger of trusting the narcissist. We recognize the danger of engaging in conversation with a narcissist. We know that the narcissist will be trying to push our buttons and getting us to react to their words and actions. But interestingly enough, when we go silent on the narcissist, they are quick to accuse us of emotional abuse and neglect. They would deny ever giving us the silent treatment and berate us for attempting to manipulate them. Let's just say that narcissists have double standards. They want to manipulate and hurt us with their silent treatments, but when we do it to protect ourselves from their abuse and manipulation, we are the devil. But it is because the narcissist cannot handle what they dish out. And our silence disturbs and confuses the narcissist. Our lack of action and reaction aggravates their spirit. Because the narcissist can only run their game on us when we make ourselves emotionally available to them. And that is why our silence, and that includes our emotional silence, is the best course of action. Unlike the narcissist, our silence is not about manipulating them. It is not about trying to control them. It is about protecting ourselves. So do not make a narcissist or anyone else make you feel guilty for taking the necessary steps to protect yourself from harm. And giving a narcissist this type of silent treatment does not make you a narcissist. A silent treatment does not automatically equate to emotional abuse. It comes down to the intent or purpose, and for us, it is the best way out of being manipulated by a narcissist. 
Silence is the key to turning off a narcissist and getting them off your back. And again, that includes your emotional silence. Do not be emotionally invested in a narcissist. Otherwise, they will mess with your head and suck you dry. And that is what I went into in great detail in this video. They need our emotional responses. They need our empathy. They need a reaction. I say give them nothing. But be prepared for when they lash out at you, smear you, berate you, all in an attempt to discredit you and hurt you in order to get you to react. When it comes to narcissists, the less we do and say, the more they are turned away. And that is exactly what we want to happen, which is for them to leave us alone. So if giving them the silent treatment or grey rocking does this, so be it. Life is too short to keep giving of our time and energies to these vampires who only desire to take, take and take from us until we have nothing more to give. Narcissists are capable of breaking us down mentally, physically and spiritually if we do not protect ourselves. So we have to take control and be the ones to shut them out and shut them down. But basically, I just want to encourage everyone in their efforts of breaking free from the control of narcissists. And if you need a reminder about the correct way to practice the silent treatment, please revisit this video. And if you want to know more about the importance of turning off that emotional tap or starving a narcissist out of your life, this is the video for you. Remember, narcissists need us to be emotionally invested in them in order for them to effectively manipulate us. So once you know you are dealing with a narcissist, you need to know how to control your emotions. Otherwise, the narcissist will control them for you. Okay, that's it for today. I hope you all found this video beneficial. Please do share your thoughts in the comment section below. Many thanks for listening.